Family is really important for Koreans. They have a really tight-knit, immediate family and extended family experience. You know, most Koreans live at home with their family for until they get married, until they start their own family. I think that Seoul is a really good place to have a family. It's kid-friendly, it's open to couples, and it's safe. And people here, they know that family is an integral part of society. I'm looking forward to just having my own little family. Sounds really silly. Yeah, but... I know, it sounds cool. I'm Amy, I'm from England and I've been in Korea for four years. I'm Jaewon, yeah, from Korea. We are married and we're expecting our first child in April 2013. We just found out last week that it's a boy, yeah. although he wanted <laughs> a girl. Oh no. <laughs> we haven't bought anything yet, we haven't. Yeah, we, we, haven't... Don't, we, we don't know what. Yeah, we sure. just found out yeah. that it's a boy, we so we wanted to wait. We took Amy and Jaywon to Ilsan so they could get a little inspiration for all their baby needs. Is it hard to buy baby clothes here or baby items like compared to back home? It seems a little bit more expensive in general, um, but then everything's so cute. So I kind of like these. I think these are. I love those. I love those for winter. Do you like them? You are same. Tasty. <laughs> Do you like them? Those are classic. No, like, he doesn't like them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's avoiding the question. The whole process is really daunting for me. Um, being away from my family um, and it being my first child. But luckily I have Jaywon and his family to support me. So yeah. we're doing okay. And your family is in the UK, right? Mm, yeah. Everyone. Okay. Yeah. okay. So are they are they coming over to see the baby or? Yeah, my parents are going to come in the spring. So oh, that's wonderful. Maybe a month after the baby's here. My family, um, they, I think they want me to move home eventually. So they, when they heard that I'd fallen in love with Jay One, they're like, oh no, she's not coming home. Um, but when they finally met him this year, they were they they fell in love with him. How did you guys end up meeting? We were in Hongdae. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the library, right? At the yeah, library, the library. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. How do you know that? Innocently studying, yeah. yeah. Um, I was there with friends, I think for someone's birthday maybe, and mm. you were there randomly. Yeah, with my friends. Yeah. Oh, so like a social event. Kind of yeah. yeah, and then um, it was fate really, because we both never went to that club before. So. Yeah, since then we've just been together. We haven't been apart. They have a wide range of bottles and breast pumps. pumps and <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the body part of it or like uh, is really intimidating. Like mm. figure mm. out the breast oh, look pumps. Look at these people, they look so yeah. happy though. It looks like it's really <laughs> easy to deal with. It's all fake. Yeah. <laughs> the first three months of my pregnancy was hell. <laughs> I felt nauseous all the time. Um, they call it morning sickness, but it's 24 hours sickness. Yeah. Now, are you worried at all about having the baby in Seoul? Or do you think that it's going to be easy? Like, is it an easy place for a baby to have a baby or a hard place? I yeah, I think, uh, yeah, just uh, easy to buy something, yeah, for baby stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, it's difficult to move around in yeah. Seoul. I think Seoul is, it's going to be a very different city to have a family, a place to have a family. Mm -hmm. We're both from the countryside originally, yeah. so um, obviously Seoul is very built up, so we're not going to have as much open space. Um, but I'm excited to have a city baby. We want to take you today to um, like a baby clinic so oh, yeah. we can do a class and you can get some different advice yeah. from, yes. okay, <laughs> from professionals. Cool. Professional oh, yeah. We headed up to Yongsan to treat Amy to an introductory class at Mama's Birthing Center. Hello, hi. Hello. 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 Welcome to Mama. I hope to learn like maybe breathing exercises and relaxation techniques. Um, I haven't I haven't really looked into any of those techniques yet. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about breathing. Well, just imagine you have a baby almost down there, oh, and nice. you feel like you push. Yeah. 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 Or you can imagine like when you do poo. Okay. When you poo. Okay. okay. Uh, well, most moms say yeah, it's. it's Almost a similar, like a similar feeling. Yeah, yeah. Wow. like a, a feeling pushing and yeah, poo too. So, like just imagine you have poo, okay, big poodle. Breathe in, 
deeply breathe in and hold it hold and push oh. yeah I'm scared. and exhale <laughs> <laughs> we have almost there okay so yeah. last part is uh, when you uh, see the baby head out then you need to relax not the yeah. not pushing okay so we have a staccato breathing ha 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 Ha. Okay, so we have a baby down there, almost okay. there. Okay, almost. you see the baby's <laughs> head. Okay, so yeah. ready? Yeah. Let's yeah. Go. Ha 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 ha. ha, 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 ha. Oh yeah, there's your baby. <laughs> well, that's easy. So this is a lot easier. Than <laughs> I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> In the UK, um, I could have had the baby on the NHS and kind of yeah. gone that way and decisions are all made for me so being in Seoul I have more choice of like what clinic I want what kind of birth whether I do natural like hypnobirth or water birth whatever um, it seems a lot more choice available in Seoul and because I'm paying for the service I get what yeah. I want I feel like quite confident about taking care of the baby. It's the birth that scares me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm just going to deal with it. Right. <laughs> I have After to. That, it's survival. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. This towel, like this. Yes. Okay. Long ways. Yeah. Yeah. We have like... Yes. Long it's like we're going to work together as a team. Okay. <laughs> and babies here. The neck is yes. over the line. Warm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> how's, how's yours looking? Yeah. It's uh, it's this coming. Is, I was gonna say, my, it, oh, this, this sort of gets my this kind of gets my like OCD out a little bit. I'm like the details, and we'll get <laughs> no, the neck is not right. Yeah. Koreans are all about the family, so there's a lot more to do actually as a family in Seoul than there is in the UK. Yeah, let you try to yeah, feed your baby. Yeah, in your on the way, just first time. First time, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah sure. Like your own technique. Yeah, your own technique. Okay. So how I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine do? and then just yeah. try. Uh huh. I guess <laughs> you just hold it there. Hold it there, yeah. Because the ba does the baby know? I think the baby will be looking for the I think so for the too. nipple. You know, the baby will know. Yeah. I don't have to know. The yeah. baby. Will do you want yeah. this position? Yep. This, yeah, yeah, this is comfortable. Feels comfortable. <laughs> yes. Is it right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You go, it's the football again. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, hands under you, the arm. Uh, yeah. 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 And then, yeah. 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 Wonder about. I feel quite educated now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't feel as worried. I thought, oh, I can do it. You know, I'm looking forward <sighs> to um, just experiencing everything about bringing a child up with J1. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be terrible at the times. Yeah, and really yeah. good at times, but it's gonna yeah, be nice to do it together. <laughs> We're learning a lot as parents because you grow up and then you get married and then you have these kids and you know it's it's a learning experience. She's a really good mom. <laughs> it's a team effort. <laughs> my name's Roman Lee Johnson. This is my wife Jenny. Uh, we've been here in Korea for about two years now. We've got two boys, four and two, Justin and Joel. We made our way to Samsung to spend the day with the Johnsons at Coex Aquarium. We're a pretty young family. I think we can interact with our kids in a playful, you know, manner, not like, oh, I'm too old, I can't play with you, even though it does feel like that sometimes. <laughs> you see these, Justin? They're sleeping, I think. Yeah. Look at they're sleeping on their tails. I'm from New York originally, uh, and Jenny is from everywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> She uh, actually born in Atlanta, but grew up in China. We both grew up with Korean moms yeah. and with white, white dads. White dads, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I think ever since 
even before we were married, it was kind of an understanding that we wanted to spend some time, not only like abroad, but spend some time specifically in Korea. Do the guys have like a similar personality, or are they like? Oh no, they're opposites. Oh really? They're total opposites. Yeah, Justin is more calm and reserved. Joel is just like energy, <laughs> no fear. Yeah, and always has to do something. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Case in point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny, we joke like he only has two speeds. It's just like off and then on. And he's just like, when he's on, he's like running. He doesn't walk. Yeah. I don't think he knows how to walk. He, can walk. he actually oh. just runs everywhere. <laughs> so. so do you guys find, is it is it hard to keep them entertained when you bring them? Like, not like this is, looks pretty easy. Yeah, this is easy. General, yeah. Oh, not really. Yeah. They just love being out of the house. Yeah. Really enjoy just doing things. Even if it's just going out and the boys running and getting dirty or something, <laughs> like we want them to have a, a memorable childhood. They've grown up completely in Seoul? Or Justin was... No, so like we moved here about two years ago when Justin was two. We were in Seattle for two years, you know, and I had my full-time photography business and having seasonal income was like really stressful and the economy wasn't doing so well. And so, you know, we thought, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of now or never, right? And, you know, we lived with Jenny's parents, you know, for like the first six months or so. And, and it was really tough, you know, because it's a new country, but it's also a new family dynamic. Right. Living with my in-laws, you know, housing. wasn't easy. Yeah. It was really tight oh space and you know, it was tough. We had like the first month, you know, we really felt jet lagged and just completely like, you know, kind of worn out and kind of second guessing ourselves. Like, you know, why did we come, you know, but you know. I think yeah, for a lot of people, like it, it's a big adjustment for you know even as a single person to move to a new country. But then all of a sudden, everything you know you you kind of get routines. I'm sure with the guys too. And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, everything's out the window. New routine. Start everything from scratch. Now, what about you guys together? Like, do you guys get chance to kind of like get away from the kids and have like couple time and spend time together? So? Yeah, um, we haven't really had a babysitter, and I think the culture in Korea. Like, friends don't ask friends. A lot of my friends say that it's, it's not even natural to ask your parents for help. Like, you don't want to burden no. your parents. So I was like, so how do you get free time? You don't call babysitters, you don't, it's not okay to ask your friends, and you don't want to ask your parents. They're like, yeah. When we first got here, you know, because it's really, it was really natural for, for us, just be like, hey, let's, if you want to drop your kids over, like, at our place, so you guys can go out for, for dinner or movie, like we'd be happy to watch your kids, but you know, no one's ever taken us yeah. up on the offer. You know, it's just like, hey, it's free babysitting. You know, and we would love if someone said that to us, <laughs> like, hey, drop your kids off. So we're gonna go back and hang out at your place for a little bit, yeah. I think, in the afternoon. Yeah. Let's see the the native habitat of the boys. I think, right? <laughs> the best place for nap time was back at Jenny and Roman's house in Anyang. So when the when the kids are sleeping, like, do you often get time to to so to yourself? Your time out, your recess yeah. for the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. It's not often that Justin goes down, but you know, I think just because we're up really early. So we have an hour and a half mm -hmm. yeah. to make dinner, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. Okay, cool. We still try to get used to an apartment, especially with having kids, uh, well, and two boys. Um, it can feel really claustrophobic. So that's a little bit. We're still trying to adjust to that, even after almost mm -hmm. two years. How do you like? How do you feel about you know raising kids in Seoul? Do you feel like you you, you were telling us earlier that like so Justin was born. He was two and a half. Is that what it was when you, when you yeah, guys came here? Yeah, he was about two and a half. So you you got a chance to feel what it's like being parents in America and parents in Seoul. Yeah. How does it compare? You know, I feel like I see a lot more of my uh, of Justin and of the kids like since we've been here. I don't think we could have like this quality of life in terms of family time um, back in the States. Um, so that's something we feel really lucky about being here in Korea. I do worry about Justin sometimes about being in school, like public school, like elementary, not so much kindergarten. You know, th there is kind of, you know, a point of no return, I think, in terms of his education. Sure. And I think we weren't really aware of it until this past year when we had a parent-teacher uh, conference, and one of his teachers were like, "So, what's your what's your long-term plan? You know, if you're planning on going back to the states, 
you know, in like five to seven years, and you know, it's going to affect his educational trajectory right now, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of like how much he should be studying English and how much versus how much he should wow. be studying Korean, and that kind of woke us up. She's like, you know, <laughs> we were just like, wow, so, you know, yeah. we don't. Is that something you think would be difficult? Because I feel like kids, they, they can you you guys speak English at home, and yeah, like he yeah. speaks English at school, so. I think she was more like talking about, for example, like if we decide to stay here long term and put Justin in public school, then, because we, we've expressed that we don't, we're not interested in doing the Hagwon thing, you know, we don't want to just send him to Hagwon, but she was like saying how if we stay here long term, that's going to be his life, like he has to. It's, it's not. It's right? necessary. Right. It's not but a also, choice like, of that's wanting the to or not. expectation with his friends. Like, right. He's right. going to want to go to Hagwon. Sure. Yeah. Right. So. And yeah. then we're just like, oh, well, you know, that's that's hard. You know, what? I don't want you to go, but you kind of need to go if we stay here. I don't know. So I, we don't really know what to do about that. How long do you think you will be here? Oh, we talk about this. This is an ongoing conversation for us. Yeah. Um, you know, so, uh, I think we'll definitely be here at least three years because I've got a year left on my uh, university contract. So we're kind of playing it by ear. We're not, you know, we're not at any anywhere near like desperate to leave we, yeah. we enjoy living here you know i think korea has been really good to us you know uh looking back on it all we've come a long way in two years we headed back up to hannam to meet a couple who is about to begin their life together Korea was kind of a life plan for me. I had always wanted to visit here since I'm a Korean adoptee. My name is Caitlin Saylor. I'm from America. Yeah, I am Joon Lee. I'm from South Korea. We're getting married on February 23rd, 2013. I am from a small town in Wisconsin and I've been living in Korea for about a year and a half now kind of made a plan that I would study ESL, uh, English as a Second Language, and teach English in Korea, get to know the culture, and also search for my birth family. We took Caitlin and Junu to a Han bookshop. The style of clothing originated from the Chosun period and would be worn during a paybek, or traditional wedding ceremony. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. Wow. Is this the traditional color for a wedding ceremony? Yeah, it's just that. Traditional style? Yeah. For Korean weddings, they usually do a traditional ceremony, so you oftentimes need your own hanbok for that. So we do need to be looking for hanbok, so it's really great that we're visiting a shop today in Seoul. This is so Wow, pretty. look at this. Wow. Wow. Sun -su, oh. Sun -su. Yeah. Oh, handmade. Uh, oh my goodness. That's pretty phenomenal. You feel yeah. it. The yeah. stitching is so cool. Yeah, can you see is some... this hand sewn? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Skirt in. Match. Match. and skirt. Which one do you like? I think I like the green and red. Okay. Yeah. This one? I guess. It, Oh, good choice. Wow, it's so amazing yeah. pattern. Yeah, I like yeah. bright colors a lot. Okay, so this is for you today? Yeah, wow, yeah. yeah. I think you look good in pink. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I love pink. <laughs> it'll complement yeah. the pink on the dress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it'll match wow. really nicely. Yeah, 그리고 이제 우리 우리가 위에 자켓을 입듯이 요거는 남자들도 실내에서만 이렇게 입지 두루마기를 옛날에 우리가 꼭 입어야 되는데 두루마기 대신에 이제 가볍게 신랑이 이제 이런 다포 다포라. Yeah, yeah. She said uh, this is indoor. Yeah. And when we go out, out, out yeah, outdoor. So tell me about the wedding prep so far. What do you have? Because it's a big, it's a lot of stuff. Yes, and I, Junior's had to do almost everything. He's been really great. I can't speak Korean. I can't call places. I can't set up appointments. So I think that's just the frustrating thing is that I can't really do anything on my own. I have to completely depend on him, but he's been doing pretty good. She sort of, does she make most of the decisions yeah, in your relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she has some dream about a wedding. Okay. So just I will help her what she needs. And the wedding hall is totally, I've been to a wedding hall wedding like once. People call them wedding factories. There's <laughs> literally maybe like 10 weddings going on, one every hour. Yeah. People just in and out, huge crowds. It seemed really quick. It was kind of like boom, boom, boom. Yes. 
the really great thing about booking a wedding hall is it's kind of a package. So they do everything for you. They get your bouquet, they help you rent a dress, they do hair and makeup. So really there's not a lot I have to do. But the wedding hall has all of the aspects of, um, of a Western wedding. Yes. So they have the yeah, very beautiful halls, you know, set up for the kind of Western style ceremony. Mm -hmm. I think the Westernized version here is really rushed and not special. Um, for example, they don't have bridesmaids and groomsmen, flower girl. They don't exchange rings. They don't kiss at the ceremony a lot of the time. I don't know if we get cake. Really? We have a champagne shower, but I don't oh. think they do cake. Champagne shower is better. I think. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of your dress? I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the colors, actually. Although the armpits. A yeah, bit. it's a little tight <laughs> in this area. But it's good. All right, well, let's go see the guys. Okay. Wow. Nice uh, look at us. Hey. Yeah. Wow, you guys look yeah. great. Wow, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Mine's a little long. <laughs> should stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> oh, no, it's perfect, though. How does it feel? Do you guys feel comfortable? It feels good. I feel really comfortable. It's a little tight. Yeah, the armpits are Definitely a little couldn't. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's switch places and see how oh, we match yeah. up. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You go this way. Mm. Oh. What do you think? Oh, you guys match <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, really? Wow, I like we it. We couldn't have an outdoor wedding where we get lost in the forest. <laughs> 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 We'd blend in. Yeah, exactly. You guys look like modern. modern. Okay, for yeah. humble. Oh, you guys look well, fantastic. You guys and how about Earth? Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. look like husband and wife. There you go. Yeah. Nice Can we get married in these? Yeah. Well, I think we're going to go to a spa next. We're going to treat you guys. Oh, sounds great. <laughs> I've never heard of a wedding spa before, so I'm Me excited. Too. Yeah. I don't really know what they're going to do. We set off to Nonhyun for an afternoon of pampering. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. My name is Amber. I mean, it's plan for treatment. Mm. Okay. Let's get the body treatment and the finger treatment. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really good. <laughs> it's always good to have a little re relaxation. Weddings are really stressful. Okay, and I guess we're going over here. Right. We'll yeah. see you later. Bye, okay, guys. Okay. You too. Awesome. Pretty good. How is that facial? So yeah. 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 I can see. I can tell the difference. Yeah. You're looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go downstairs. Yeah. So, how are you guys feeling? How was the treatment? It was awesome. It was really relaxing. <laughs> You're really relaxing. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Now, your is your family coming in for the wedding? Yes, my parents are flying in from America. That's oh, awesome. cool. Will this be your first time meeting your parents? Will this be the, his first time? He actually came back to America with me in May when I was there for a friend's wedding. Oh, so cool. he's met you know, all my family, my parents, two of my brothers, aunts uh, yeah. and uncles, grandmas. With all the stuff that you guys are still working on, did the spa treatment help bring things down, calm me down a little bit? Yeah, it was definitely relaxing and just kind of nice to pamper ourselves for a day. Cool. Mm, cool. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm glad That's it worked true. out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what a good husband. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>